hey and welcome back to the Revolution and some more WWE 2K20 news as following the announcement of this year's Four Horsewomen Showcase, myself and Smack Dog have had the awesome opportunity to speak to one of the Four Horsewomen, the Queen of WWE herself, Charlotte Flair. To make sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K20 news, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website, Revolution.com, where you'll find our official write-up of today's news and so much more. Also, be sure to head on over to Smack Talk's official channel, where you'll find some incredible concepts, as well as the latest men's WWE 2K20 news and more. Before we get into things, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to 2K UK for giving us this awesome opportunity. As anybody knows, I'm a huge Charlotte Flair fan and getting to interview the Queen of Heroes not once but twice has been an absolute privilege and an honour. But enough of that and let's jump right into things. First up, we quizzed Charlotte about the matches in the Women's Evolution Showcase and if Charlotte had a personal favourite. Um... I actually think my favorite would be going back to where my career started and what put me on the map, and that would be me versus Natalia for the NXT Women's Championship um, in the showcase mode. I think that would be my favorite matches because it was so significant and reliving it, um, but I'm actually excited just for the entire showcase as a whole and seeing the women's evolution all the way up to WrestleMania 35. As we already know, Becky Lynch was revealed as a cover star for this year's game, so we wanted to know what Charlotte's reaction was to the news. Oh, I, I could not be any more ecstatic for her. I think it's a great way to close out the incredible years that she's had. Being on the cover was only fitting, especially with the mania moment that she had. Following that, Paul posed the question as to which legend Charlotte would like to face off against next after defeating Trish Stratus at this year's SummerSlam. Well, I already tapped out Trish Stratus, so <laughs> it'd probably be tapping out Stephanie McMahon. Sting with the theme of Legends, we wanted to know what Charlotte made of China's inclusion in this year's game and what the announcement meant to her. I don't have a favorite moment, but I just think what she meant to the women's evolution and the industry and being so different in such a positive way for women, um, I think it's awesome. Not only is China returning to the video game series in WWE 2K20, but 2K also announced that mixed tag team matches are set to return after being absent in the last few years. So with that in mind, we wanted to know if Charlotte had to compete in a WWE 2K20 mixed match challenge, who would she pick as her partner, her father, Ric Flair, or her partner, Andrade? Oh, 100% Andrade. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Speaking of Andrade, the SmackDown superstar is currently competing in the King of the Ring tournament. So I decided to pose the juicy question as to who will be the queen should Andrade win, especially seeing as Zelina already has her crown ready and waiting. Well, I'll always be his queen, but <laughs> Zelina's a great partner for him. <laughs> she can be... She can be... Junior queen. <laughs> Seeing as the King of the Ring tournament is currently taking place, we thought it would be fitting to ask the Queen herself if she thinks we might ever see a Women's Queen of the Ring tournament. Well, I keep hearing that, but we already have a Queen. <laughs> I don't know why we need to... <laughs> no, um, I, think it's, I think it's exciting. I think if we do, it's an opportunity for women from NXT to come up as well, or legends to come back and be a part of it, so that's always exciting. Anything that gets more women uh, involved from other brands like NXT, um, I think is great. As we switch things back to the Women's Showcase and the evolution of women in WWE, we wanted to know what Charlotte thinks the next step in the women's evolution will be. I think just continuing the momentum and headlining WrestleMania again and just proving that it wasn't just, you know, a one-year thing or a fluke. It's, you know, the women can continue to deliver like this at high levels and um, I think it's just going to take a couple years to show that you know maybe we might not be the main event this year but it'll happen again. With so many epic entrances over the last few years I wanted to know which of our own entrances Charlotte would love to see recreate in WWE 2K20. Ooh, I still think the throne the helicopter was so cool but the throne knowing that 
status with Triple H's throne, and then my career coming full circle, and then I took it, and then I took the cr- the throne, the, cr- the throne. <laughs> it, see, yeah, I think that is just the history of it and what it meant. I, I think that's the one entrance. I know a lot of people be like, oh my god, the helicopter, but I think the throne and what a big deal that was in my career coming full circle. I think I'd want that one recreated. Charlotte has already accomplished so much in WWE, so Paul wanted to know if Charlotte had considered a tag team championship run and who she would pick as their partner for the gold. See, I'm very torn because Becky Lynch was my ride or die. <laughs> so to not have her as a tag partner, I don't know if there's anyone else fitting. I think I kind of, I work better solo. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> Remaining with the accomplishments of the Four Horsewomen, I wanted to know who Charlotte sees as the next breakout star, following in the footsteps of the Four Horsewomen. Oof. Um, well, I'm expecting big things from Nikki Cross. Um, I'm a huge fan of hers. I know she's been on the main, ro- or excuse me, Raw and SmackDown for a few months now, maybe maybe a year. I'm not really sure, but um, it takes time and. I think uh, she's going to have that, you know, breakout moment soon. And um, I'm 100% behind her. I think from NXT, um, Bianca Blair just has it. Like, she doesn't have to try. She just has, like, that natural swag. Like, she's a star, and that's what that's the one thing you can't teach. You can teach someone how to wrestle. You know, you can come up with a character, but whether you have it or not, that's on you, and she has it. So I think she's the next big thing. Finally, with the NXT TakeOver Cardiff pay-per-view just days following that interview, Smack Talks was the queen on if there are any NXT UK superstars on her radar and if she would love to go toe-to-toe with any of them. Ooh. Well, I guess Tony Storms and she's the champ. I'd love to be some <laughs> the NXT UK champ. I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Add that to the Gackalade list. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. So that's our exclusive interview with the ever-lovely Charlotte Flair, and I just want to reiterate how thankful I am to TK for the opportunity, as these the last two interviews with Charlotte have been an absolute dream come true, and something I will honestly never ever forget. There is bound to be so much more content over the next coming weeks as we go ever closer to that October release date, so be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K20 news by hitting that bell icon and subscribing to the channel. Also, be sure to head on over to Smack Talk's official YouTube channel where he'll be covering all the latest male superstar news and so much more. Don't forget, you can head on over to our official website, Revolution.com, where you'll find a write-up of today's news as well as all previous and upcoming WWE 2K20 women's related news. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> I'm just going to see myself. <laughs>